This is the template we will be using for the tutorial. It's a typical one-page website for a digital agency. And the best way to explore the structure is by using the document tree and we can collapse all the top sections so that we'll be able to see how the page is structured. So on the top we have a now bar and when we think about what we will put into blocks now bar it's an easy choice. So the whole element will be a now bar block. And then the second one, the intro, let's hide it to see what, what the element is. It's this big graphical element with picture and heading and buttons. So let's pick inside. So it has two sub elements. One is the actual image and the second one is the text. So to make a block out of... Uh, uh, to make a, a fully functioning header block we have to take the section because it will include everything we need. The image in the background and text uh, headings with buttons. Okay, the next one are the three boxes where the company is boasting about its like solutions and excellent features and ideas. So we can notice that this area is not wrapped into a section element like the rest of them. So when we are designing blocks we are aiming for consistency. So in this case all our sections are wrapped into a section element, like this, except these three boxes. So personally I, I prefer I prefer to, to keep things like following the same pattern. So what we could do is just add a section and put the container inside the section. So all our blocks will be section elements uh, with the website parts. Okay, and then let's see, section about. Here, this one is interesting because it has many kind of subsections wrapped into an about section. So it has container with a big kind of image and title. It has a call to action with button. And then it has a Twitter feed, testimonials, our vision and mission. team and some facts with parallax effect and counters. So instead of wrapping all of this into a single block it would be much more useful if we take individual elements and make them into blocks. Um, and like before we, we did with, with this box, we, we added section around it. So here we also want to wrap our elements into section elements so that they all follow the same pattern. So let's do that. We, we can also place them out of the parent section.
and this <coughs> will be a block and then call to action let's see the code so actually it has a div already and this div is used to give it a, a full width background so we could just change this div into a section that's the easiest way to do it same for the rest of the elements with set with a div This is a bit boring to watch, I think, but let's just go through it so that we do everything together, all the steps necessary to make this template into a set of reusable blocks. And the last one. The about section is now empty, so we can just delete it. Okay, so what is next? Services, that's already a section, so no problem with that. News, also a section already. Contact us, and the footer at the bottom. So what we did now, we rearranged the structure a bit to have all blocks, all elements that will become blocks, wrapped into section elements, except the now bar, which is usually always kind of independent element. So we don't force section of wrapper on the now bar. And with that, we are ready to move to the next step to actually create blocks out of these elements.